Hey guys, it's me again, and um, today I just want to talk about a couple of things, and um, it's just really been bugging me, and one of the things that uh, that's really bugging me right now is a lot of these um, tweets I've been reading about Christian unity. Um, a lot of these guys are saying that, you know what, just leave you know, the post-tribbers alone, you know, they all love Jesus, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We just need to be united. You know, God or Jesus died for all of us. And um, we don't need to go after them, okay? Now, um, okay, so I'm going back again to, um, quote, unquote, attack the post-tribbers. I'm really not attacking them, okay? Here's the thing about the post-tribbers, as I've been saying in my other videos, okay? Uh, I'm not saying that your um, view on the timing of the rapture determines whether you are saved or not of course not you know it's our faith in jesus that's the only thing that saves us we are saved by grace alone through faith alone faith in what and what jesus did on the cross okay i'm not saying that you have to believe in the pre-trib rapture to be saved at all and i'm not saying that just because one is a post-tribber that they're not saved necessarily but what I am saying, what I have been saying, is that if you're a post-tribber, what do you really have your faith in? Is it in Jesus' work on the cross? Or is it in your ability to endure to the end? And if that's the case, if it's the latter, then you're not really saved if, you're, if your faith is in yourself. Okay, you can claim Jesus all you want, but... If you think that your salvation is going to be sealed by your ability to endure to the end and that you're going to have to go through the tribulation to prove yourself, then you're not trusting in Jesus. You are trusting in yourself. You can put any spin on that however way you want, but that is just a plain and simple truth. If, um, you know, being a post-tribber per se does not mean you're not saved, but having that stance does kind of reveal where your faith truly lies and um, it's in yourself if you're thinking that yeah you're gonna go through tribulation prove your worth to God and he's gonna let you into heaven yeah you're trusting yourself buddy not in Jesus now going back to my original point this whole Christian unity thing um, no we do not need to unite you know with non-believers and a lot of these people who claim to be Christians they're not Christians just because they um, claim to be it doesn't mean that we need to quote unquote unite with them you know you know enough with this christian power thing you know strength in numbers we're always going to be the minority in this world stop looking for popularity okay you guys just want to unite because you know you'll be stronger it, it's, it's gonna we're gonna look like a bigger community and um, we don't look so out of place and we're not gonna look like a bunch of loser loners if we're all you know banding together that's really the whole point you know, and enough with trying to say that, you know, the rapture is not important or is, is just a minor topic that we don't need to argue about. It absolutely is worth fighting over. That is part of the salvation package. It is our blessed hope. You know, you guys who don't want to talk about the rapture, you just hate Jesus appearing. It's plain and simple. That's it. Or you're, you're, or you're embarrassed of it because... You, you, you know, it makes you feel stupid when you talk about Jesus is coming soon and, and he's not coming. And you just want the world's approval or you just can't deal with the mockery anymore. So, guys, please stop talking about the rapture. Stop pushing the preacher thing, you know. Just love everybody. No. The best way to love people is by telling them the truth. And that especially includes post-tribbers, most of which are probably going to end up getting left behind and they will have their shot during the Great Tribulation, they can prove that they can endure to the end. And as you know, as somebody commented uh, um, a while ago, somebody told me, uh, um, you know, they're, you know, the post-tribbers are just in the wrong dispensation. You know, all the stuff they're saying now, it will make, it'll be appropriate for the Great Tribulation when they get left behind. Then they can start preaching then and um, everything they say will be right. Yeah, they do have to endure to the end. They'll probably have to get beheaded. But note that at this point, those people who are getting left behind are not born again today, okay? They probably will get saved during the Great Tribulation, 
but as of the moment, they're not part of the body of Christ. They are not the bride of Christ. The bride of Christ, we are guaranteed an escape from the Great Tribulation. Jesus is not going to leave us here to be beaten and killed and tortured during the Great Tribulation, okay? Um, he has redeemed us. He has um, cleansed us with His blood. We are perfect. We don't need to get, quote-unquote, refined by the Great Tribulation. His blood is sufficient. And if you think that we have to go through the Tribulation to secure our salvation, then you just spit on the cross. You just spit on the blood of Jesus, and you are not saved, and you need to repent. Time is short. I've been saying the rapture is going to happen soon. I've been saying it for like almost two years now, and yeah, I look stupid. Yes, I do. But he still is coming soon, and you need to get born again. Because one of these days, that trumpet is going to sound. And if you're a post-tribber, good luck. You will stay here because your faith is not in Jesus. It's in yourself. You still have a chance. You still have a chance not to change your stance, but to actually put your faith in what Jesus did on the cross for you and that it is actually enough to pay for all your sins, enough to make you perfect in Christ. Okay, so that's all I'm saying today. I hope you have a good day and... Um, Hopefully there won't be a next time, but there always is. But, you know, one of these days, there won't be a next time.